just do it. September 26, 2021. That is our team for the day. So first of all, do you know Martin Luther King's dream speech? Yes. The iconic speech. Did you know that the written version of Martin Luther King's historic speech never contained the sentence, I have a dream. In fact, the entire section was never in the original text. As you can see, improvisation helped shape what is widely considered one of the greatest speeches of all time. So the next time you're called to speak, if it's a mini speech or the speech in class, at work, don't be, be, don't be afraid to improvise because your speech might be remembered years from now. So remember that, don't be afraid to improvise. Okay guys, can you still hear me? Screen is still showing, just checking. Thank you very much, Mamarilu. I saw the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Table topics. What is table topics? We're gonna do a quick refresher for our guests. Thank you for our new guest, Rael De Castro, for joining the meeting. So as a reminder, table topics is a long-standing Toastmasters tradition intended to help members develop their ability to organize their thoughts quickly and respond to an impromptu question or topic. Topic master, which is me, will give a brief description of table topics and then call on respondents at random. Yes, you heard that right. You can't plan, you're gonna improvise, you're gonna do your mini Martin Luther King speech. Your response should express your thoughts in a clear way and will last only one to two minutes max. But don't worry, you have 30 seconds to think. But before I call on the wheel of fate, which will choose you, depending on the circumstance, I'm gonna give you one tip. Impromptu speaking tips. It's gonna be a quick one, so open your ears, take notes. This will help you in the next challenge. Let's take a closer look at the techniques to... Okay, just verifying, can you hear the guy speaking on the screen? Okay, thank you very much, RJ, uh, Tia Marilu, and JM for the thumbs up. ...help you manage your impromptu speaking. The first approach is a simple formula known as PREP, which stands for Point, Reason, Example, Point. Start your speech by making a clear point about the subject. Next, explain why you are speaking on the topic. Then, give a few examples to bring life to your story. And finally, end with a concluding point that wraps up your speech. By following this flow, you'll be able to clearly state your main point and help keep your ideas on course. Prep is an excellent fit for business meetings, conference calls, and even interviews. Okay, so just a quick, take a quick oh. reminder. So acronym is PREP. Point, reason, example, and point. Just remember that. So are you ready, guys? I see Norman is searching something. Okay, I can see you. I see the determined look of JM with his gaming headset. I can see the determination. So here are the questions for you to answer. But first of all, let's call upon the wheel of fate. Double check, one, two, three, four. Okay, all of you are here. So who's ready? Who's ready to be called? Okay, let's go. Okay, RJ, his adventure has been called to answer. So are you ready, RJ? I am. I am ready. Good. Question number one. When was the last time you tried something new and why did you do it? 30 seconds to think, one to two minutes to answer. Go, good luck. The last time I tried something new is uh, doing the things that I'm scared of. Like for example, you know, presenting myself in the camera you know, talk, uh, talking about the things that interest me, uh, trying to influence people as much as I can, trying to, you know, connect to people online, 
trying to make friends. So I did all of this out of my comfort zone. So this may be the reason why I joined Toastmaster to be able to do that, to be able to reach more people, to be able to connect with more people, to be able to make friends <clears throat> online and outside. So that's the last time I tried something new. Back to you. Great. Great. Great to hear that. A round of applause. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, that's great. So guys, learn from RJ's adventure. Sometimes you just need to pull the trigger and just do it because you might not know what's waiting for you in the other side. Now, who's ready for the next question? Okay, I can see everybody's still engaging. I see Dale uh, is clapping, but I don't see his face, but at least he's engaging. Thank you very much for the engagement by clapping. Now let's call the next one. Okay, Rael De Castro, you have been calling. Uh, you're a guest, so okay. it's optional. Do you want to accept the challenge or? Uh, yes, yes, observe. Yes, actually, uh, this is something new to me. Uh, uh, Rael can observe first our. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I highly appreciate your honesty and. Yeah, being cautious. So watch and enjoy the next person who's going to answer the question. Thank you for attending, by the way, Rael. Thank you. Okay. Norma has been called by the Wheel of Fate. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Okay. I can feel the excitement there. <laughs> Okay, question number two. What usually holds you back to try new things and why? What usually holds you back to try new things and why? 30 seconds to think, one to two minutes to answer. Good luck. The things that hold me back to try new things and the reason why. Uh, actually, I never had an experience that I will be holding uh, back to try new things. In fact, I am doing everything that I want to do. <laughs> so I, I don't know how will I answer this. Anyway, probably if I, I am the person that is holding back to try new things, the probably the reason could be is fear. I'm afraid to try. And probably if that will have an investment in terms of say real resources, that will hold me back to try new things. But as far as myself is concerned, I think I, I have not done anything. I have not, uh, I do not, I did not have any experience that I hold back to try new things. Anyway, uh, the reason probably that one will hold back is first, out of fear, second, uh, no experience, third, no resources, and uh, nobody to guide or to, to supervise the person. I will just make you laugh. No, probably one thing that I, I experienced no? holding back is uh, probably is getting married because I did not get married. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why? I, because <laughs> I want to become priest. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Holy. All right, back to you, table topic master. Wow. Round of applause. So as you can see, as you observe, uh, I, I'm not sure if you're aware, all of you, all of you are aware, but at first, uh, the speaker, Mam Norma, thought she wasn't like she didn't, she didn't have that factor of holding her back. So at first she said that, but the great thing as you can learn is you can empathize with a person, not just because you haven't experienced something that doesn't mean you can't put, imagine yourself to put yourself in those shoes. 
of that person. So imagine that if you can't understand somebody, uh, don't say no. <laughs> say, how would I feel if I was in her or his place? So remember that. A nice story, by the way, of uh, about you bringing a priest. That's a great story. <laughs> okay, now who's ready for the next question? Okay, Dela's turn on is webcam. Nice by Kubo or nice house. Nice, by the way. Now let's go to the wheel of fate again. Okay, some technical <laughs> errors. It keeps going back to. I'm gonna remove this. Okay, also this one. Okay, again. Okay, for a moment I thought it was Norman who's gonna respond, but the wheel of fate has chosen you, Dale. Are you ready? I'm ready as you are. Okay, nice to hear that. Question number three. When was the last time you were disappointed about not doing something and why? When was the last time you were disappointed about not doing something and why? 30 minutes, 30, 30 seconds to think, one to two minutes to respond. Good luck, Dale. Well, this is a very interesting question and I think I can relate to this very much. When was the last time you were disappointed about not doing something and why? It was yesterday. I was really disappointed yesterday, not, with, not because of I did not do something. It's another person who did not do anything. Uh, that I am expecting him to do. Why? Because it is something that will make things easier for my people. I really love my team. And I have a new member wherein I really can't understand why he is behaving differently. But do we really have to be disappointed with a person? Yes, as a human, surely we can express our feelings, but that is not the answer. The answer is to be able to help the individual learn, understand, and appreciate what you are doing for other people. And that's all. Thank you. Nice answer, Dale. As you can see, why be disappointed when the other person can learn and grow? So the next time you're going to be disappointed, like, ah, before ranting or lashing out, think, maybe this is a good learning point for him. Maybe it's good for him or her to learn and grow. So thank you, Dale, for that wonderful short story. Now let's go to the next one. Who's ready? Let's see who's going to be chosen by the Wheel of Fate. Okay, Norman has been chosen. Norman's still here. Yep, I can see he's excited. Those determined eyes, eyes of the tiger. Okay, question number four. Can you still, guys, can you still see my screen and hear me? Maybe I lost connection. Okay, thank you, Jim, for thumbs up. When was the last time you did something without preparation and did well? When was the last time you did something without preparation and did well. 30 seconds to think, one to two minutes to respond. Good luck. Ah, oh, sorry, there was no audio. When was the last time you did something without preparation and did well? When was the last time you did something without preparation and did well? 30 seconds to think, one to two minutes to respond. Good luck, Norman. <laughs> Today is the birthday of one of our Lolas in Quezon City. And my dad and I thought of something that we don't really do. We tried ordering cake from Food Panda in Quezon City. And we have no idea how to do that. So we're here in Lipa. We tried ordering a cake for her. In SM Trinoma, Quezon City, Red Ribbon. 
And then we have no idea how to do that, no preparation at all. And it went there, but there were some hiccups. <laughs> um, the driver knocked on a different house. And while I was in the comfort room doing my business, the rider kept calling my phone. And I had no idea. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, the cake wasn't delivered on time. But good thing we were able to manage it and finally called the driver back. And voila, the birthday cake surprise was somewhat a success, despite of two people ordering without the knowledge of, of using food panda in a different region. Well, I hope that works. And back to you, table, Mr. Table Topics Master. Wow. When, when was the last time you delivered your Lola cake? I mean, come on, think about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's a great metaphor. It's a short story, but it's a great because sometimes you're the cake and you want to go to achieve a goal, your Lola in this case. And you're going to find some hiccups. Sometimes you're going to be disturbed and you're going to do, you think you're just doing your business, but sometimes your goal is calling you and you're still in the bathroom. So sometimes you need yeah. to answer the phone and be more vigilant, but at least it's a great story because the cake was delivered. So yes. thank you for that great story. Now let's call the last person who's going to respond to the last question. Okay, Janet, you've been called. You still there? Yes. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to be spontaneous, huh? Okay. Okay. What usually holds you back from doing new things that you would like to do and why? What usually holds you back from doing new things that you would like to do and why? 30 seconds to think. One to two minutes to respond. Good luck, Janet. Usually the things that holds me back from doing things are perfectionism. I want to make sure that if, if I tried one thing for the first time, I want it to be perfect. I, as much as possible, I don't want it to have a lot of mistakes. That's why. That's it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That was short and sweet at the same time. Who said you need to make one to three minutes answers? You can also go for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So thank you for that short story. And don't forget, guys. Don't be held back by perfection. Okay, now I would like to thank you for your participation, each and every one who responded and listened to those wonderful answers. I hope you had some time to reflect on not being afraid of jazz doing it. Back to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Oof. <laughs> 